rise up and pray. I am your host, Sister Vicky. I want to certainly welcome you to watch our podcast. I do believe that late in the midnight hour, God was certainly turning around. If you are the host, please enter your pin followed by the pound or hash. Thank you. There is one other participant in the conference. Please announce yourself. Hello, 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 hello. I would like to welcome each and every call on tonight. And I would also like to welcome the listeners that may come across this audio over YouTube. I am your host, Sister Vicky. Before we move on and go any further, I would like to, I would like to announce that each call is recorded and placed over YouTube for the edifying of God's church. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move this thing along. And let's go ahead and get into the covering scripture on tonight. Amen. I'm going to be coming out of Psalms 145, 145, and I'm going to be reading verse 1 through 21. I'm going to be reading out of the ERV version on tonight. On tonight. Amen. I'm going to be reading out of ERV version on tonight. RV version, which is the easy read version on tonight. Amen. I will tell of your greatness, my God and King. I will praise your name forever and ever. I will praise you every day. I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and deserve all our praise no one can fully understand his greatness each generation will praise you and tell the next generation about the great things you do your majesty and glory are wonderful i will tell about your miracles people will tell about the amazing things you do And I will tell everyone how great you are. They will talk about your goodness and sing about your justice. The Lord is kind and merciful, patient and full of love. The Lord is good to everyone. He shows his mercy to everything he made. Lord, all you have made will give thanks to you. Your loyal followers will praise you. They will tell how great your kingdom is. They will tell how great you are. Amen. So others will learn about the mighty things you do. About the glory of your kingdom. How marvelous it is. Mm. Your kingdom will never end. And you will rule forever. The Lord can be trusted in all that he says. He is loyal in all that he does. The Lord lifts up people who have fallen. He helps those who are in trouble. All living things look to you for their food. And you give them their food at the right time. You open your hands and give every living thing all that it needs. Everything that the Lord does is good. Everything he does shows how loyal he is. The Lord is near to everyone who sincerely calls to him for help. He listens to his followers and does what they want. He answers their prayers and saves them. The Lord protects everyone who loves him, but he destroys all who do evil. I will praise the Lord. Let everyone praise his holy name forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That was Psalms 145, 145. And I read verse 1 through 21. And I read out the easy read version, which is the ERV version. Amen. Please, in your devotional time with God, you go back. And you read that and see what God give you out of those scriptures on tonight. Okay. 
amen see what god give you out of it see it's one thing to have me read it or somebody else read it but it's a whole nother thing when you begin to read this thing for yourself and you begin to meditate on the word of god because then god can give you insight on what it is that he wants you to know concerning those scriptures amen all right man so let's go ahead and move this thing along on tonight um i had got a new mic y'all god has blessed me with a new mic but this mic is kind of got a lot of bass in it so i'm gonna see how i'm gonna use it tonight and see how it sounds once everything get lo- uploaded to youtube if i like it i i i stick with it if not then i probably just have to do a little bit of adjusting amen but i do thank god for this mic on tonight though because the mic that i had it, it it's through y'all it's just through <laughs> i don't talk to half the death it's through all right y'all so let's go ahead and move on to worship on tonight so we're going to go ahead and get into worship and after worship amen we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and um uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and move it along and we're going to get into um the scripture and then the encouraging words and then after the encouraging words it's going to be prayer amen because god want me to get straight to business on tonight i don't know if it because he got wants me to get into a deep prayer after this podcast is over i don't know but i'm gonna do and, and be led by the holy spirit concerning tonight amen so what we're gonna do go ahead and get into worship after worship we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give you the scripture after the scripture the encouraging words after the encouraging words it's prayer y'all amen so let's do it something and again i've got some of the most incredible uh, artists on the planet in the room and so they we were just going kind of impromptu we didn't really get to rehearse anything we just came up here so we'll just try a little something see what it do and if it don't do we'll just make it do what it do <laughs> let's see what we do let's see what, okay you know what why don't we, uh, why don't we try this one good choice to somebody, all right? Ask your Marvin, turn it up for me. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Don't you be. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles they. Troubles they don't last always. But there's a friend. For there is a friend in Jesus. Who will wipe who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, and if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, just lift those hands and break it down, say, break it down. you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. <laughs> don't you be afraid. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Troubles. Troubles, they don't last our way. Oh, there's a friend in Jesus. Wipe your tears. Who will wipe your tears away? If your heart is broken. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands hands and say, Oh, that I can make it. I know that I can stand. I know. Stand, no matter, no matter what may come my way. My life is in. My life is in your hands. Keep, keep. With Jesus, I can take it. With Jesus, I can take it. Him, I know. So when- 
when you're tested trials. So when you're test and trials, they seem to get you down. They seem to get you, Ricky, Ricky, you down. And all your friends and loved ones. And all your friends and loved ones. There's nowhere to be found. There's nowhere to be found. Remember there's a friend in Jesus. Remember there's a friend in Jesus. <laughs> who, will, who, will tears away. who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, Kiki. And if your heart is broken. is in your hands amen no matter what comes my way my life is in your hands i don't know about you but i can declare that tonight that my life is in the hands of the lord because i have been through some things i don't know about you maybe everything been going good in your life maybe everything is peaches and cream but i'm telling you i have been through some hell and hot water I don't been through I don't had some hills to climb, some mountains to climb. And I'm telling you, it has not been an easy road, but I can tell you that my life is in the hands of the Lord because He has kept me through my trials. He has kept me through my tribulations. He has kept me when men have plotted evil against me. He has kept me and helped me to overcome sickness. He has kept me. Amen. When he had gave me financial blessings after blessings when he has sustained my household he has kept me hey man i thank god for keeping me because i know i ain't keep myself huh i ain't keep myself I, i'm not strong enough for that jesus has helped me amen i just thank god and i give him glory and i give him honor that's why i rise up 12 o'clock midnight so i can give god what is due unto him because he has helped me my life has been in his hands amen praise god i just want to say thank each and every caller on tonight thank each and every listener that's going to come across this audio over youtube there are plenty of people that support watch out podcast they don't get a chance to call live amen but they will go up there and listen to the audios every now and then and i just thank god for each and every listener and each and every partaker because it's not easy to get up 12 o'clock this time of the night to reverence the lord because the devil will fight you hard when you're trying to do anything that is of god he will fight you hard if you if you trying to get up and be a partaker in the midnight hour <laughs> and on third watch and 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 uh, um he would do everything that he can to block you and to stop you he will put slumber upon you all of a sudden you 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 awake when it come down to something else you wide awake but when it comes out doing the things of god did you all of a sudden you feel that slumberness come over you that you just get sleepy or tired that's nothing but the enemy but we have the power to fight that thing off because anytime that there's a gathering in the name of the lord you can best believe the lord is going to show up right now as we touching and agreeing right now amen um even though you're not with me live but if you hearing the sound of my voice right now amen you god is in the midst of us amen he is in the midst of us and i thank god for that because he said when two or three are joined together in my name there i am with them and i thank god for being with me i thank him for being with you i thank him for being with us 
Amen. What an awesome God that we serve. Um, I would like to say that this podcast do have a new number. Um, some people have been still calling the old number, but it's a new number to this podcast. Um, it's actually, if you go to YouTube, uh, watch our podcast over YouTube, um, in parentheses, um, it's going to have up there, um, host sister Vicky, so you can know which watch out podcast it is. But anyways, in the description, it's going to have up there, um, the number to this podcast. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, I'm a little hoarse, so please just work with me tonight. Um, but anyways, the number is going to be on the podcast, on the podcast description, and please write that number, save it in your phone. So whenever you do happen to get up, you know, you can just call in. And it's nothing like being calling in live and, and to hear, you know, what and, and to be a part of what God is doing. Amen. But praise God because you are supporting the vision. Amen. You are supporting the vision and you are supporting uh, um what watch out podcast stands for and and that's just to spread the gospel of jesus christ i'm telling you uh watch out podcast isn't no organization so you can't join watch out podcast like as far as membership but you can always be a part of what watch out podcast is doing over here amen because we come together all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and we reverence the name of the Lord and we pour into the people what God has been pouring into us. So that's what we do over here. Amen. It's a podcast. People come and go all the time. But I thank God for the movement and I thank God for what he has already done thus far. And I thank God for what's up ahead because eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard all the things that he has planned over here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So we want to go ahead and, and um, get into it on tonight because we do know this hour go by mighty fast. Um, again, I would like to repeat myself. Watch our podcast um we are uh live right now amen and each call is recorded and placed over youtube i want to say that again each call is recorded and placed over youtube and um so with that being said <clears throat> if you don't want to be you want your voice being heard then just kindly put yourself on mute because plenty of people call and they just mute themselves like they just listen in and we thank god for it amen sometimes god don't cause us sometimes god calls us to be silent you know we don't always have to have something to say god calls us to be silent sometime and just listen and 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 and, and touch and agree with our hearts and our mind and with all of our being so with that being said all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and move it on um i'm gonna be i got a scripture on tonight god i believe that god has given me some words of encouragement that is destined to help somebody amen it's gonna help somebody on tonight i believe that by faith amen but um the scripture that i'm gonna be coming out of is um isaiah chapter 41 and i'm gonna be reading verse 10 through 13 isaiah chapter 41 and i'm gonna be reading 10 11 12 and 13 the verses and i'm going to be reading out an easy read version again um you may have a different version than i but i'm pretty sure the concept is still the same the meaning is still the same um it just may be different wordings but um amen to that amen i i read like i said i, I believe in reading out an easy read version because it breaks it breaks it down in a simpler form and i thank god for that version because it had helped me over the years you know when i couldn't comprehend certain things my favorite translation is the niv version um but the king james version you know nothing can top that to me nothing can top that you know i always study out the king james version but niv has really you know, help me to understand scripture. And the ERV is just simple, simplified, basically, you know. Um, 
so I, I'm, I decide I'm not going to go into details about that right now. But I do got a video, an audio over YouTube that explains the different translations and everything like that. So tonight, okay, amen. Back to the subject. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 through 13. Again, I'm reading out the ERV version. Amen. But before I do that, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and try to get to my babies, y'all. I'm going to get to them singing rascals. <laughs> y'all, I just feel so good in my soul. I just thank God for everything that he has done thus far. I thank him for so much. I mean, it's times that I find it hard to get up here to do the podcast. But I push through because I love God. I love God and I know that he has called me to help the people he has called me you know I, I just been through so much in my life and God wanted to use that as, as a stepping stone for me he wanted to use what I have been through to help other people and I just thank God for that amen 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 I'm trying to find my thing y'all hold on just a second okay this might not be it let me see I don't want to skip it now. No, that ain't it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, y'all. I I, I should have been well prepared, but hey, when you live, sometimes things things just don't fall in line. Sometimes, so it you know it is what it is. So y'all, I don't know. I think I think I end up erasing it. Mm. I probably erased it off my phone. By mistake, you know how you try to clear your phone out and then you erase the wrong thing? And I think that's exactly what happened. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to get my kids to record another one. That's what's going to happen because the devil is a liar indeed. But we're going to go ahead, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Amen. But I, the clip I was looking for was my kids singing, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Because the Bible tells me so. Amen. That was a little bit of it, y'all. <laughs> yes, Jesus loves me. I know he loves me. Because the Bible tells me so. Amen. Thank you, God, for loving me. Loving me, oh God. Nobody can love me like Jesus. Jesus, huh, he loves me. He loves me. He loves you too. Hey, me. He loves you too. And I thank God for it. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer before we get into encouragement. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to say thank you for everything that you have done in our lives so far. Thank you, God, for opening up doors for us. Thank you, God, for allowing us to be in our right mind. Thank you, God, for putting food on our tables. Thank you, God, for clothing us, oh God. Thank you, God, for allowing us to be the light in this dark world, oh God. Thank you for every single moment of our lives, God. We thank Thank you through the good and we thank you through the bad because if it wasn't for the bad things we wouldn't reverence your name we wouldn't turn to you we wouldn't but we wouldn't be able to have faith if it wasn't through the trials and tribulations because you let us know that we can overcome every distraction every disappointment anything that the enemy has set up for us god we are overcomers through christ jesus father god we come to you on tonight asking for you to 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 fill us oh god with a word that's going to help us throughout the week god that's going to help us to overcome situations god warn us in any kind of way god to get us back on the path of righteousness whatever you got to do god do it lord god for us oh god oh god we want a closer walk with you lord god we want to to see you in a whole new way lord god and lord god we come against the attack of the enemy 
everything the enemy has planned from this moment forward we counsel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus we come against the principalities of the air that will try to come against the airways right now oh father God we say have your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus send your power Jesus in your mighty name we pray cover us Jesus under your blood in Jesus mighty name we pray amen 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 like I said I do believe that God has given me some words of encouragement that is sure to help somebody amen and it's up to you to take to grab hold of these words of encouragement because we all need some encouragement in this day and time we all need to be filled with the 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 spirit we all need to hear have an ear to hear what the lord is saying to our church because that's how we're going to overcome this dark world this world is dark y'all it's, it's dark it's getting darker if you take notice of all the things that is going on in this world today we need jesus more than ever and i'm telling you it's no better it's no better day and time than now to get him get as much of him as possible amen well i'm gonna go ahead and get into the encouragement on tonight amen i will help you oh y'all i'm sorry y'all i'm moving a little bit too fast let me read isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 through 13 lord i i move a little bit too fast let me slow this thing down y'all this is live this is live so y'all already know how this is <laughs> y'all already know what it is amen so isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 through 13 don't worry i am with you don't be afraid i am your god i will make you strong and help you i will support you with my right hand that brings victory look some people are angry with you, but they will be ashamed and disgraced. Mm, 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 mm. Your enemies will be lost and disappear. You will look for the people who were against you, but you will not be able to find them. Those who fought against you will disappear completely. I am the Lord, your God, who holds your right hand, and I will tell you, don't be afraid. I will help you. Amen. Amen. Now let's go ahead and get into the words of encouragement, y'all. I'm ready now. I will help you, says the Lord. Don't be afraid. I will help you i don't know about y'all but i love the sound of that last statement in verse 13 it just pierced right through my soul see i can't speak for you i can only speak for myself but i'm sure you must agree when i say i desperately is in need of hearing those words i will help you See, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 through 13, isn't no ordinary scriptures. See, these scripture is God himself prophetically speaking in the lives of his people. He started off by telling us to not worry nor be afraid and assure us that he is with us. Before he even tell us about an issue, he first let us know that there is no need to worry about what's up ahead. Don't worry about what I'm about to say to you. His words is so soothing. Soothing to know we have his support and we will walk in victory. God himself consoles us and stores confidence within his followers by telling us he will make us strong. I will help you, says the Lord. Mm, 
I will help you, says the Lord Almighty. Note, he didn't say man will help you. Let's make that crystal clear. God said, I will help you. Now, don't take God the wrong way on tonight. Because what he has to tell you may be a horse pill to swallow. What God wants to reveal to his followers may be confirmation to some and disbelief to others. And the other third may become bothered. But remember God's word is you. But remember God's word to you is don't be afraid. Now, this is what God has to tell you. Hold on tight, y'all. Y'all ready? This is what God has to tell you. Take a good look at Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. So if you got your Bible, take a good look at Isaiah chapter 41, verse 11. And those of you that's with me tonight, follow me. Come on now. Follow me in your Bible. You could be reading out the King James, the NIV, the ERV. It's okay. God has something to say. Huh. Starting at verse 11. Look, some people are angry with you. <laughs> That's it right there. Starting at verse 11. Some people are angry with you. Huh. That's all right here. Some of you may not have known this information or may have or you may have suspected it. Well, here is your confirmation on tonight, straight from God's word. Now, before I go further into these encouraging words, let me give you a stern definition of the word angry. Angry is a feeling or showing strong annoyance, displeasure, hostility, which means an unfriendly behavior towards someone. With that being said, God himself informs us that there are people that are angry. Now, you may be like me now, scratching your head, thinking, who, what, and why? I ain't do nothing to nobody. Why could I have many angry with me? I stay to myself. I try my hardest to treat people the way I wanted to be treated. I'm a giver. I'm loyal to a certain point i mean i consider myself a decent human being who tries to stick to the word of god why on earth will people be angry with me i'm gonna give you the number one reason on tonight on how you are making people angry without physically mentally or spiritually trying The Holy Spirit dropped this in my spirit on last night. The reason why they are mad is because you, my friend, are anointed. There it go right there. You are anointed. Those of you that is wondering why they mad, they are mad because you are anointed. I'm talking to all the true followers of Christ. Huh. All of the true followers of Christ. Not you evil men who always come on Watch Out Podcast to monitor my audios to plot evil. I'm talking about you listener that is Holy Ghost filled soldiers that will serve God to the death of you. You are anointed. So don't worry yourself about over don't worry yourself over Isaiah chapter 41 verse 11 because God have you covered. <laughs> I said God have you covered. See, being Father God's anointed one, it attracts truth and falsehood. <laughs> you're going to attract truth and you're going to attract falsehood. <laughs> what I mean is you is a representation of Christ. Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 says, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endure to the end 
will be saved see this is what jesus saying y'all this is what jesus said in matthew chapter 10 verse 22 he says and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that endure to the end will be saved see your anointing will always attract negativity in your life so now that you know that there are folks out there that are angry without a cause don't you worry nor be afraid because god said he will be with you in this year of 2022 you will be strong ready and equipped it to endure all the whispers and the mistreatment and every attack of jealous men of iniquity the this year of 2022 take heed and be cautious in every union that you come in contact with don't go looking to make friends with people that you know are mean and angry people that are angry with you without a cause just leave them alone leave the situation alone and let god take care of the affairs stay focused and grounded in god's word and watch your enemies disappear according to isaiah chapter 41 verse 11 huh, your enemies will disappear amen let me end with proverbs chapter 15 verse 18 a hot tempered man stirs up conflict but the one who is patient calms a curl so don't worry nor be afraid because the lord said i will help you amen amen thank you father god thank you father god in the mighty name of jesus god has given me those encouraging words and just to give you a summary god was letting me know that people <clears throat> can be angry with you without a cause i used to think back you know back before i was actually saved before i actually got to this i ain't gonna say before i was saved because i learned this while i was saved but before i got to this point in my life people i used to treat people the way that they treat you know i used to treat people the way that i wanted to be treated i used to you know help people as much as possible do things for people you know i used to encourage people but somehow they was people would seem to always you know somehow you know quarrel about me gossip about me you know put me down or talk about me or find something to get mad at me over and i and i used to say what in the world like i'm i'm doing good towards these people or or that person why in the world would they do this like what have i done you know what have i done other than being good to that person or to those people but god was letting me know that in his word that people huh, can hate you without a cause people can hate you without a cause people don't even have to have a reason other than you are anointed when you are anointed people will hate you people would find a reason to hate you you can i don't care how good of a person or how good of a heart you have if you are anointed by god you have haters you have people that just don't like you you got people that will talk about you that's unfriendly towards you that is jealous over you that will gossip about you and i'm telling you i realize this now as a child of god and that's why i don't let i don't take it personal no more i don't let it get to me because at one point in time that thing was getting to me you know because i'm like i'm doing all this you know being good to these people and then they're gonna do me like that they're gonna portray me like that they're gonna lie on me like that they're gonna treat me like that you know but then god allowed me had had allowed me and opened my eyes and allowed me to realize that people that that by by god by god's word in matthew when jesus said they first hated me you know if they hated me they're gonna hate you too and i realized that i have to be doing something right because if i wasn't doing what's right then i guess everybody uh, uh be you know i uh, think highly of me or whatever but but since i am doing the work of god and i am under his anointing 
and I and I and I realize it for myself. I realize I have lost people that I thought was my friend. I have people that came against me who I once called a sister, who I once called a brother. And I realized this and God was letting me know, don't get upset, don't get mad about this thing. I mean, this is destined to happen. I mean, when you looking for things like this to happen, then when it actually happens, it's not a big of a deal. And and the best thing about knowing this is God said, I will help you. He will help you overcome the fairy darts of the enemy. He will help you overcome that gossip, that gossip. He will help you overcome that portrayal, portrayal. He will help you overcome all everything that a possible a person could possibly do to you to harm you and to and to and try to destroy you in any kind of way. God will help you overcome. He will not leave us hanging there alone and and we have to fend for ourselves. God will come to our rescue. And we got to realize that regardless of what this life throws at us and regardless of what people say and what people do, when you got God on your side and you are God's anointed one, there's nothing that no one can do to destroy you. There's nothing that no one can do. I mean, the weapons may form, but they will not prosper. They will not, it will not do what it intended to do. It will not fulfill its purpose. When someone get mad at you, hey man, I'm going somewhere, hey man. When somebody get mad at you and all they're saying, they want to probably put a spell on you. They want to go to their little closet and do their little rituals or whatever. But the weapons conform, but it won't prosper. They can't kill you. Can't nobody do nothing to harm you. Amen. When God is on your side, they might gossip about you on the job and try to get you fired. But if God is for you, who could be against you? Amen. They can do whatever they want to do. Let them talk. Let them gossip. Let them make up their lies. Let them betray you. Let them go in in their secret closet and and, and pray to Buddha or whoever else out there. Let them burn their candles. Let them do whatever they they want to do. But God was saying, I will help you. Let them be angry. Because we're living in a day and time now. People, there's a lot of angry people on this earth there are a lot of people that are angry and nine times out of ten when a person is angry and all the time and they just got that angry spirit in them you know that jealous because all of that comes together jealousy envy anger all of that builds up when they got that that negative spirit on them like that (coughs) amen when they got that negative spirit on them like that I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's nothing that you personally can say to change a person's heart. You can't change them by trying to talk it out with them or, or trying to make peace with them. That's why some people that I know that has that, that are angry with me right now or has been angry with me, I just let God give it. I just give it to God. Because sometimes you can make a situation worse by going to an angry person trying to settle something. You know, sometimes you got to leave stuff unsaid and undone because God will pick up the pieces. Let God fight your battle. Let God handle that person. Let God handle the situation. Because sometimes everything don't need a response. Every situation don't need a response. And I have learned that now in my walk with God. I have been learning that as I go. Because I'm the, I have, I, had became a type of person where I was becoming, I'm going to put it like that. I was becoming a type of person that if I felt like someone was angry with me or whatever, I would try to go and make peace with that person. But then I realized when I try to make peace, it made, it kind of got worse. It, It didn't make, it didn't make, I didn't have peace after I walked away from the situation because they still had resentment towards me. They still was angry towards me. They still were showing their anger, expressing their anger. And I'm like, I thought we talked it out and squashed everything. But I realized that 
some you know sometimes you got to leave things unsaid especially if you know you sincerely didn't do anything to that person or those people you know that your heart was in the right place you know um just let it go let it go because life is just too short to be worrying carrying heavy burdens because sometimes worrying about how a person feel about you that can become a burden you know and and sometimes god you know don't want us to be associated with folks that are angry anyway he don't want us to be associated with those paid people i mean sometimes we can have angry parents you know and at the end of the day you got to deal with your parents and then you you know sometimes you may have you know basically have people in your family that's close to you that you can't avoid that are angry people you know you just gotta have to try to you know work your way through and just lean on god but there are some people that come across your life that you don't have to come in contact with on a day-to-day basis and if you don't have to come in contact with those people you know i'm talking about outside of your family circle then just let them be you know because sometimes you you just i mean you you personally cannot help an angry person only god can help someone that is constantly hold in anger because it's other things that are connected to that person it's other emotions and feelings that are connected to that person that is negative and um because you know like i said that person could be holding on to strife anger jealousy all of that can lead to anger and you know god and, and being angry can cause a person to have a hot temper and god said don't don't he don't want us to be associated with people that have they are so that has anger that is this hot tempered amen i wish i had that scripture handy amen i need to get that scripture because i i really need to get that scripture right there uh let me see if i can look it up right quick y'all because something just tell me give that scripture right there uh what god said let me see hot temper hold on just a second amen amen i'm gonna see uh okay yeah here you go right here these are different type of scripture may not be this the scripture i'm looking for like proverbs chapter 14 verse 17 a quick tempered man acts foolishly and a man of evil devices is hated and a fool a fool proverbs chapter 29 verse 11 a fool always loses his temper but a wise man hold his back a, a hot tempered man stirs up strife but the but the slow to anger comes a dispute that's proverbs chapter 15 verse 18 i'm trying to get to the scripture where it says oh here go right here proverbs chapter 22 verse 24 do not associate with a man given to anger or go with a hot tempered man amen do not associate with a man given to anger don't be around here trying to make friends with folks you know that's angry all the time talking about people hating on folks all the time gossiping about them because gossip is 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 tied to being anger angry that's the same it's, it falls all in the same category you know anger is like the root of a lot of other things that that's going on in a person's life because if a person is angry you can guarantee they got some other mixed emotions going on it's the root anger is the root amen god said don't associate with with a person like that don't don't try that's why sometimes people that are angry they'll try to find things to you know to to try to you know a uh, uh, whole resentment towards you or uh, uh, try to hold grudges against you whatever leave them people alone you know just let it be give it to god you saying go be mean to nobody but sometimes you gotta leave stuff up to god leave it alone especially if you know that person is hot tempered and they be ready to fight this and that don't even confront no person like that just leave them alone and just give it to god and i realized this as i as 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 i'm i'm living this 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 life this life 
that pleases God. I'm I'm realizing as I live this holy life that some things don't need to be addressed. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone and let God fight your battles. Let God help you. And I and I and that's what I got out of the encouraging words tonight is God will help me. He will help me no matter who up against me. He will help me when them angry people try to cause harm and, and strife against my life. God will help me. No longer will I sit around worrying about this or worrying about that that don't serve a holy purpose. I have to keep moving forward in my walk with God. I have to do what's pleasing to God because little do we know Jesus Christ is coming back. And when he come back, I want him to say, well done, my faithful servant. I don't want to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. And there's going to be so many people that's going to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. Because they was holding on to uh, uh, um, things that, in situations that God had told them to let go. Or they walking around being angry all the time and hot tempered. See, God don't like that. That's not the characteristics of God. That's not the characteristics of God. If you always get mad and fired up, especially over little crazy stuff, hey man, then it's time to reevaluate your life because I'm telling you, you don't want to go, you don't want to die and go to hell. I mean, it's time. I'm not saying that. We don't get angry because as children of God, we get angry sometimes. But our anger is only supposed to last for a moment. That means in our anger, we don't go out there and we don't try to harm nobody. We don't try to hurt nobody. We don't try to bring nobody down in our anger. We don't try to, you know, destroy someone with our tongue in anger. We have to have self-control because that's part of the fruits of the spirit, having self control we have to have self-control over our anger we can't just always be hot tempered amen so at the end of the day i don't want nobody to misconstrue what i'm trying to say you know at the end of the day i understand that we all get angry but at the same time it's what you do in your anger if you allow the anger to stay there it will begin if you allow the anger to linger it will begin to cause you to be to resent someone to hold a grudge or what have you and i learned that i you know as i'm going now i learned that i have to just give i can't give in to no anger i have to just give it to god whatever however i feel every negative emotion that i have towards someone that has hurt me or any kind of way i just give it to god because i realize sometimes you can't just go to people we live in a day and time now you you can't just go to people no more you can't go to people and you know some people you may can go to and talk it out and you can make come to you know common ground but it's others other times is is you know you go to somebody that that may be hot tempered or whatever and let them know that you know you didn't like what they said or whatever or you try to talk it out or, or however and they be ready to fight <laughs> They ain't going to give two cents that you save. They're going to be ready to throw hands. So that's why sometimes you just got to leave the situation alone and let it lay bare and let God pick that situation up and do what he needs to do. Amen. And sometimes you just got to part ways with people and move forward in your life so that you can be where you need to be at with God. Amen. I thank God for allowing me to be able to give y'all those words of encouragement on tonight and i thank god for him using me <laughs> the way that he has been using me uh thus far and um like i said before please if you haven't already give your life to christ give your life to christ give it to christ because there's no other place to be right now than in the in the the kingdom family there's no other place to be right now to be in to be called a child of god because the bible said unless a man is born again he will not enter 
into the kingdom of heaven. We have to be born again. You got to be new. You got to be brand new. You can't be sitting up here hot tempered and think you're going to go be with Jesus. It's not going to happen. You got to be born again. And sometimes, and I'm going to tell you, you can't change on your own. There are some people that say, well, <clears throat> I'm going to go to therapy and I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to try to change. And the next thing you know, they back fussing and cursing again. You got to give it to Jesus. You have to give your heart over to Jesus and let him fill you with the spirit because the spirit will keep you. The spirit will help you. The spirit, the spirit will prevent you from doing those things that's not pleasing to God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. There are so many people that are missing out on God's love because they are so angry. They they hold in so much bitterness. They hold in so much uh, um, resentment. They hold in hold up so much grudges, and it's like their heart is so hard towards people. And I'm, I'm telling you, only God can take out that stony heart and give a man a heart of flesh, a softer heart, a heart to love, a heart to forgive, a heart to move forward a heart to love like no other i'm telling you i mean only god have the ability to do that sometimes we as human beings be trying to <clears throat> we feel like we can change people you know we feel like we can if we talk to this person this person may change but to be honest in reality it's nothing that we can say to change somebody that person have to want change for themselves and then it's going to take God in the midst of helping them change their wicked ways. But we personally can't do nothing. You know, we, we, we can't do anything other than deliver the word of encouragement or, 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 or you know, either way, God is behind it. If we ever encourage somebody that is wicked or that is evil or, or that is a mean person, trust and believe me god is behind it and god is using you but overall we as humans cannot change no other human and that's why that's why is a uh uh, uh, that's when there's a lot of strife comes in because we want to change people but we have to realize we can't change nobody we can't change nobody nobody can't change you and you can't change nobody if you change, it's because you want it to change. It was in you to change. And it's the same thing concerning others. I don't care who it is, your family members or whatever. In order for them to change, they have to want it for themselves. And I pray, I pray, and I pray sternly that people that are wicked, I pray that they will turn from their wicked ways. I pray that they will have a heart to really serve God wholeheartedly because I'm telling you people are putting on a show for other people <clears throat> people are putting on a show for other people pretending to be somebody that they're not and I'm telling you, a lot of these people got a big fan base a whole lot of followers but behind closed door these people are mean these people are evil they are wicked and, it, and, and and some people do got a small uh, uh, platform and they still evil and wicked and mean. But at the end of the day, God knows the real you. God knows if you really doing his word effectively and wholeheartedly. He knows what you do behind closed doors. He knows what you do doing. You can't hide nothing from him. So why play around with this thing? Why pretend like you one way when in reality you not? I don't care how many books you you write. I don't care how much you go to different uh, um, organizations to preach or to teach or whatever, what have you. If you are evil, God will spit you out of his mouth. If you are lukewarm, God will spit you out of his mouth if you are evil he will say depart from me i never knew you he don't know people that doing evil he don't know people that's out here pretending to be one way but you a whole nother way he don't know you he don't know people that do evil that plot evil against their brother against their so-called sister he don't he don't he don't he don't know you 
he don't know you. And I, and then you did all this this mockery stuff for nothing. And then you did it all. You did this this mockery stuff, and you did it all to only go to hell. And I'm telling you, this this thing is serious. It's serious, man. Like I don't play around with it. It's serious. That's why some people I don't associate with. I'm sorry. Some people I say my hand by, but I don't go. I don't. I don't associate with some people because some people are evil. Some people are deceitful. Some people are jealous minded. Some people will cause you to fall, and that's one reason why we have to be cautious. That's another Bible scripture. I'm gonna get that to you because I'm telling you, I, I, I'm giving you these Bible scriptures, Amen. Because I don't want you to be taking just my word. This is God's word. Amen. Be cautious in friendship. I'm about to give you the scripture for that. Hold on just a second. Be cautious. In friendship. I'm about to give you that scripture right quick. A righteous man, oh, hold on, I got to get the, the scripture. And that's Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. A righteous man is, is cautious in friendship. If you is a child of God, then you are considered righteous. A righteous man is cautious in friendship. But the ways of the wicked leads them astray. Hey, Amen. Leads them astray. And the NIV version says, <clears throat> The NIV version says, this is, how the, this is what the NIV version reads. And this is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. Um, the righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. We got to be cautious when it comes to dealing with people. We can't just be calling any and everybody our friend, hanging out with this person and that person. First of all, you need to learn a person's character and see what type of person they truly is. Is they truly living the word of God? I'm not saying that people are supposed to be perfect because no man is perfect. But at the same time, that person can't be all bad and never good. I mean, come on, somebody. At the end of the day, you can tell a wicked people, a wicked person by their deeds. How do they act? What do they talk about? What what do they influence you to do? Amen. You got to be careful. The Bible said this. This is not what I said. This is what the word of God said. The righteous choose their friends carefully. We got to choose our friends. You can't just call any and everybody your friend. You know, because a person smile in your face and call you their brother and sister. That don't mean that they're a friend to you. Because God said the way of the wicked leads them astray. You can get hooked up with the wrong person. A person that's angry and hot-tempered. Uh, you know, be around that person all the time. And next time you know, you pick up their characteristic. A person that gossip all the time. You'll pick up that person's characteristics. And next time you know, you're going to be gossiping. You're going to be hot, angry, and, and, and don't have patience and this and that. At the end of the day, we got to be cautious. We got to be cautious for so many reasons because we're living in a day and time now. People will lead you astray because there's so many people that are not, that, that Satan has possession over, that has possession over. You know, because if you're not living for God, you automatically living for the devil. <laughs> if you're not living for God, you automatically, automatically, is living for Satan. And, and and that's what you have to understand. That's what you as a righteous person have to understand. That we got to be careful. We got to be careful who we go tell our business to. We got to be careful who we go. Whose shoulders we go cry on. We got to be careful who we tell our secrets to. You got to be careful. Because that person may not even be a friend. That person may be an enemy. You got to have discernment really. Because you can't really just go by and say, okay, because this person act this way or that way, that person a good person. I can trust that person. That person a friend. Don't you know your the enemy? Satan know how to turn transform himself into an angel of light. He know how to make himself look look like he's your friend. He know how to make himself look like he's righteous. He know how to make himself look a certain way so that he can gain your trust. And then, pow! 
that, that, and that's when he'll begin to do his scheme and his plots and, 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 and his plans to destroy you. You got to be careful. Hey, Amen. Praise God. Well, y'all, huh, I feel the Holy Spirit winding down right now. I believe that God has spoken. I really believe that the Holy Spirit has given me enough to put in the atmosphere on tonight. And um, before we move on to prayer, I would like to ask, is there anybody online that would like to say anything concerning this topic on tonight? Oh, and the topic is, I will help you. I will help you. So if any th- anybody online tonight that would like to um, give an input, if not, we're going to go ahead and move on to prayer. And then we're going to go ahead and close this thing out, y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and start prayer off tonight. Father God, first we want to come to you in repentance. And we want to say, Lord, we're sorry for all the wrong deeds that we have done. Everything that we said, everything that we have held in our heart that wasn't of you. Everything that we have thought in our mind that wasn't contrary to the word of God. God, we are asking you for forgiveness on tonight before we come to your throne room tonight. And Lord God, we say, have your way in our mind, body, and soul and cleanse us from every evilness cleanse us from every spirit every spirit that try to attach to our life cleanse us cleanse them things out of our atmosphere oh god that is not like you oh god and god give us a heart to love you give us a heart to want to do your will god a heart to love oh father god on tonight we talked about anger god We talked about how men can be angry with you without a cause. And Father God, we know that this come, with this come, uh, 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 this is a part of living for you. And, and, and and, and this is a part of life when men are angry with us without a cause. But Father, cleanse us and help us to be able to overcome whatever the enemy come against us using people to harm us and to hurt us or to betray us in any kind of way help us god so we won't be able to hold in anger so we won't be able to try to do an eye for eye and treat them them people or that person the way that we was treated father god help us to to be the bigger person god help us to be able to put things in your hands god situations in your hands god because some things doesn't need a reaction from us some things does not need our attention and god help us to be able to focus on the things that you will have us to focus on so that your will shall be done god oh god we forgive each and every person that has trespassed against us we forgive those that have wronged us that have hurt us that have tried to curse us that have tried to do things to us without cause god we forgive them and we give them place them in your hands god you do what you feel you do what is what you fit to do for them god help them god and take that stony heart out and give them a heart of flesh god but do it your way father because we're not telling you what to do we say you have your way father do your will god and father god we say thank you for tonight god and god take out the anger in us god if if any of us have anger built up inside of us and 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 if any of us is hot tempered in any kind of way god father god cleanse us deliver us restore us right at this moment father god god we give you all of ourselves on tonight god and we say lord thank you for being such a good god thank you for listening to us thank you for being there oh god sticking closer than a brother thank you father because we know that we cannot move forward without don't without you lord god we cannot move further and i walk with you god and we don't come to you wholeheartedly and ask you to cleanse us and restore us god oh father god we thank you for this entire night we thank you for this experience to be able to be amongst the living we thank you right now father god and then we say have your way lord like never before upon the earth god have your way in each and every one of our minds bodies 
and our souls. Have your way, God. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, I say restore joy upon your people. Restore, God. Restore joy right now upon your people. Restore peace upon your people, God. Oh, God, because we know that you will help us each and there along the way, Lord God. And I say thank you, Father, for always being there and never leaving us and never forsaking us. Amen. When men walk away, God, you will always be there. You will always be there and carry us along the way. And I say thank you, Father, all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So with that being said, Lord Jesus, we thank you and we say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe by faith that if you have heard that prayer and um, you believe by faith, I believe that God has restored you and God will do a good thing in your life and he will finish what he has started. Amen. And um, with that being said, um, I would like to say that we're back here again. Let me give y'all a date. We're back here again because if we only live on first and fourth uh, Thursdays of the month. So we're back here again on one, two, three, four, on the 24th at 11, starting at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and give you the number for those that may come across this audio and listening. It's going to be 1-732-434-3371. Again, 1-732-434-3371. You call that number at 1130 Eastern Time on on March the 24th, starting at 11.30 p.m. And we're back here again with another move of God, worship, encouragement, and prayer. And I am your host, Sister Vicki. And until we meet again, God bless you and your family always. In Jesus' name, amen.